Can you hear it? The music of the multiverse. It reaches out to you through infinite passages of the mind's eye. We are but frequencies, each dancing uniquely along the boundary of the physical world in the unmanifest realms. Flickering lights in the dark, as eyes from the great beyond become more attracted to our shimmer as time passes by. Take this lantern, you'll need it. As we explore the depths of DC Comics and see how far the void really goes. In our world, if you look hard enough, you will find another guide. If you find yourself lost, know that a guide exists, even in the most hopeless of places, where one cannot even trust their own consciousness to be real. DC Comics history is rich and vibrant with crisis events and multiversal resets. It's a place where time is fluid and ever-changing. History becomes the future, and futures branch off into a divergent timeline, where one history involves a god creator who imparts the power of creationism into his angelic sons, Michael, Gabriel, and Lucifer. In another continuity, a cosmic mother imparts creationism into her monitor sons, Alpheus, the Forger, Mobius, the Anti-Monitor, and Marnovu. DC acknowledges these continuity rewrites as varying vibrational frequencies that are all structured within the larger container of hypertime. Just like comics often reset their own history, I too feel the call of Skaven, the Approver, beckoning me to do better and become a positive light in the comics community, instead of being one based around drama and volatility. In my future, I hope to create excellent content for you and also teach you what I know about history, physics, and philosophy. You'll need a basic understanding of all three of these co-equal branches of existence so that you can lay the groundwork for ultimate knowledge and understanding. Just as the repeating motif of creationism in DC is based on threes, your knowledge and enlightenment on complex comic hierarchy will also be based on threes. And with all of these story contradictions all active at the same time, it becomes nearly an impossible task to scale DC Comics. I get asked this question every day, and I reply with the same statement to each person who asks me. I don't like to use common scaling wikis and don't enjoy applying their terms to scale anything because I simply do not agree with what the scaling terms are defined as. So it becomes a major problem for anyone who wants to authentically and ethically scale DC Comics without any bias. The truth is that DC is composed of many continuities and each one of them has a different cosmology than the rest. Many of them scale differently some of them acknowledge the variant cosmology differences of other authors, and some do not. The only fair way to scale DC Comics is to acknowledge that DC as a whole is very, very large, and with many different cosmologies that compose it. Taking that into account and applying a scaling to the entire system is the only way forward and the only way to unbiasedly understand DC Comics' true scale. Simply put, we have objective confirmation that DC Comics contains infinite multiverses, which in turn contain infinite universes, and each universe contains infinite divergent timelines. This alone places DC Comics at near the top of the spire of the tiering system. Due to having a true infinite cosmology, as mentioned, this is one potential continuity that houses this among many others. No other franchise has more canons and continuities than DC Comics. For this reason, the vastness of DC Comics extends beyond any other fictional property that I'm aware of. Once more, due to the fact that many of these meta canons are also able to cross connect and intersect with each other very often. Got a train junction where these lines, each of which represented different universes, meaning different comic books that contradicted one another. For example, Duke Thomas came from the Dark Multiverse, where he defeated a variant version of Barbados and all of his terrifying demonic followers. Later, Duke was able to cut his way out of a non-canon story and emerge into the mainstream canon of DC Comics. This event takes place in the 2024 Outsiders comic series.
This one feat alone dismantles the entire idea of the tiering system and what it means to be placed into a specific term that describes the power rating of a franchise. DC Comics has realms beyond math, beyond understanding and logic, far surpassing the notion of particle physics or classic dimensional tiering. With all this in mind, we are excluding all the meta locations that start with the sphere of limbo and upward into the cosmic container known as nil, where the monitors once dwelled during the final crisis. We are excluding the cosmic armor Superman, which is the personification of the entire sum of existence, as the overvoid prefers to view it, which itself is beyond all form and meaning and can pre-adapt to any and all future threats. This singular instance in DC history breaks even the top tier zero spot of many online scales. We move onward to also ignore Mandrak, the corruption of the Overvoid, who was created by the Monitor Mind to consume the entire flaw. Now also a tier breaker, whose definition was to end all things with and without meaning, there are no scales currently available to accurately portray who and what Mandrak is. And beyond all of this, the Monitor Mind, the Absolute Void, the Ein of the Kabbalah, the Unified Field, and the ultimate original point at which all data, all stories, and even concepts originated from. DC Comics is quite complex, religiously centered and inclusive of structures that have the very definition of breaking the tiering scales themselves. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and make sure to subscribe. It means a lot to me if you would support my channel in any way possible. Thanks for watching and remember, even when all hope is lost, even in the middle of the great darkness itself, there is always a light, somewhere and in some time. You just have to look for it without your eyes and instead with your mind.